Well, hello everybody and happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, April 18th, 2023 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com and I am coming to you live. So hello, hello, hello and welcome. How's everybody doing? I see a lot of you guys on here already. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you guys had a great day today. It was absolutely beautiful today. But unfortunately, I was stuck at the emergency room most of the day with my mother, so I didn't get to enjoy it too much, but um, huh, that's a long story. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it was so gorgeous here, and I was just wanting to sit outside and enjoy it all, but um, anyway, I did have a couple hours this afternoon to um, get these cards done. Um, I had to do kind of a quick technique, so... Oh, Sue says she's happy because some of her order arrived. I finally got a couple of my orders, the ones that I ordered regular shipping instead of two-day shipping. And Stampin' Up! put out a video today um, because there is a free shipping special tomorrow. <laughs> and people were like, what? A free shipping? They're still not even caught up on the other shipping. But um, they kind of explained the whole thing. So they're almost caught up on the shipping now from last week so or two weeks ago so they wanted to throw in a free shipping special um just to let everybody have some free shipping on the the retiring stuff before the end of the month so um yes she is okay so my my mother's staying with me for a couple days because she was supposed to have this procedure done this morning so she was spending the night and we had to get up early go to the um hospital this morning, you know, check in, get all the stuff done. She couldn't eat or drink. We go up there. She has to get all prepped. And after two hours of sitting there, they said, you know, I don't know if you guys remember, I told you she fell a few weeks ago and she thought she broke her leg, but she didn't. And so her leg was still really swollen and she has, um, she also has like atrophied and other things wrong with her, but her her leg was still really swollen, so they thought she had a blood clot. So the um, anesthesiologist was like, I just don't feel comfortable doing this procedure because I think she might have a blood clot. So he said, we're going to send you down to the ER um, and cancel your procedure. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I had to take off because we had to schedule this three months ago. And I had to, you know, redo my schedule and everything to take off two days to do this whole thing. And I was just like, you got to be kidding me. Because <laughs> I'm looking at it thinking, I don't think it's a blood clot. I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I'm thinking it looks the same as it's looked for the last few weeks, you know. It's still swollen, but it's not as swollen as it has been. So we go down to the ER after we've already been at the hospital now for, you know, two and a half hours. And we go spend another three hours in the ER. And they do the ultrasound and they take an x-ray and... They're like, nope, it's just still swollen from the fall. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So, you know, basically we spent from 8.30 till 2.30 at the uh, ER and, and for nothing. <laughs> so I was <laughs> supremely mad because <laughs> my whole day was wasted. <laughs> so she's fine. And we didn't get the procedure done. So anyway, that's my long story. But anyway, so I came home and got my stamping done and, and didn't get anything else done today. So that was my day, but uh, 88 watching so far. And then right before I clicked on here, um, I see a comment that says she was watching the last video. You know, with the really cool technique that I did this one. And um, the only comment she put was 10 minutes into the video and you haven't started the technique yet. Lady, <laughs> that's just topping off my day. <laughs> I thought, really? That's the only thing you have to say about the whole video is that 10 minutes into it, I haven't started it yet. Oh my gosh. Delete and block. <laughs> I tell you, people just absolutely kill me. Like, really? Ah, don't watch. If really you can't take the talking for a few minutes, fast forward. 
All right, so this technique is a little bit different than the last one. So for this one, and this is the card kit, and I've already had a few people order it, and I forgot to ask you guys which card kit you want. So if you placed an order in the last couple days, um, I sent you a thank you, but I forgot to ask you which card kit you wanted. So please send me a note and tell me if you want the one with the shells or the one with the flowers so I can cut the right one. The only difference is going to be the color, really. Um, and the pieces for the words and the ribbon. Well, actually, like the whole thing. But <laughs> so tell me if you want the shell kit or the flower kit. And so that's the card kit for the month is you'll either get three sets of this or three sets of this. Um, if you order from now till the end of the month and your order's over $50. And here's the host code for the rest of the month. Um, and then if it's over $100, you'll get the gems too. And then tomorrow is free shipping day, all day, starting at midnight tonight, mountain time, um, all day tomorrow is free shipping. If your order's over 75, I forgot to put that. $75 or more, whoops, my pen's not writing. There we go, 75 or more dollars. Okay, so, so this one, we use the back of the embossing folder. Today we're gonna to be using the front of the embossing folder, which is the regular side. And I've done a whole bunch of embossing folders. I've only made cards with two of them, but I did a whole bunch of pieces. So here's some of the other ones that I did that I didn't do cards with. So what I did was I used the white craft pad to color them. So here's some of the other ones. And I'm gonna show you how to make these two cards. But these are just some of the ones that I was playing with that I didn't actually make cards with. So this one, I don't remember what that one's from, but I just had it sitting there. I just picked ones that I already had run through the machine and um, just used them with the white uh, craft ink. So this is one we're using today, but with a different color. So I used some new colors. This is actually Night of Navy, I think. I thought that one was really pretty. So it just gives you a really cool look. And this is the new folder with the white and that's um, Misty Moonlight. So I love this technique. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So um, for these two cards, we're gonna be using the um, Shells 3D embossing folder, which is retiring. And right now it's only $3 if it's not sold out yet. And the Fern, uh, I think it's just called Fern or maybe Fern 3D, I think. I don't know. I never rem I should put the names on these. Or maybe Stampin' Up should put the names on them. This is one of my favorite ones. And then we're also using um, the Nature's Print stamp set, which is not retiring. I'm very excited about. And Friends Are Like Seashells, which is retiring and I'm really devastated about. So those two stamp sets. And, oh, I got Happy Mail. This card, oh, isn't it gorgeous? I love it, love it, love it. And this is retiring, which I'm upset about. But um, this is from Robin Steyer, and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. She embossed the vellum, which is another cool technique I need to do one day. I don't know why I keep forgetting about embossing vellum. So she sent me this beautiful card, and I just loved it. So thank you, Robin. I love it, love it, love it. And I think that's all I got for now. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do this one first. So let me read comments. Oh, you guys are talking a lot. Okay, let me see. Let me go back up here. Okay, oh, I forgot to say hello. Hey, Beth, hey, Karen, hey, Lynn, hey, Cynthia, hey, Sue, hey, Sherry, hey, Diana, hey, Reva. Uh, let's see. Hey, Gail. Hey, Julie. Hey, Jody. Hey, Annie. Hey, Robin. Hey, Therese. Hey, Starla. Hey, Debbie. Only one Debbie so far. Hey, Annie. Hey, Lorraine. Hey, Tony. I don't see Spice Girl on here. Hey, Minda. Let me see. Hey, Robin Miller. I don't see Spice Girl on here. Is she not on here today? Let me see. Nope. Okay. Ban her. I did ban that girl. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah, he says, I've watched demonstrators that talk and sell for 30 minutes before starting. I know. I try not to just, like, talk about nothing. I try to talk about interesting stuff and, uh, you know, funny things. I try not to sell too much, you know. I plug it for about five minutes, and that's it. Um, I know. It just irritates me when I read something. Like, right before I press start on the video, I see, that like, a comment like that. And it just, like, really throws me off. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even believe people write that stuff. Like, how horrible of a person do you have to be to just make a comment like that? I just don't understand that. Oh, Denise, you never want a card? Oh, let me put your name down. Hold on. Denise Gardner. I used to have a list, and I tried to pick everybody's name on there. Um, yes, I do love my new bathroom. Some people just try to sell the whole time. Yeah, I don't try to do that. Um, like the twigs and sprigs and eucalyptus. Yes. I wish they would come out with a really beautiful, beautiful floral one. Like I've seen some gorgeous ones online from other companies, but I wish Stampin' Up! had a um, really beautiful one. I watch for the demo, but also for the chit chat. Yeah, I know we have a really great group of people on here that chit chat, so it's always really fun. Um, I know it's always boring if somebody just gets on here and just like does the the video. Sometimes it is kind of boring, and then I'll just fast forward through it. Um, hey Vicky, hey Bill, how you doing? All right, nobody's seen Spice Girl. She must be taking a nap. Okay. All right, so let's do it. All right, so here is the card, and it's so easy to do. This is like the easiest card ever. You could make about 50 million of these. So I just whipped out, I just took a whole bunch of card front pieces, so five and a quarter by four pieces, um, of all different colors and I use you have to use pretty dark colors for it to show up so um, Five and a quarter by four misty moonlight. This one's already embossed because I can't bring my machine in here Because I don't have room because my desk is a mess and this is the new two and three eighths circle punch That we have now in the new catalog and since we have another circle punch in the catalog I'm gonna start using my circle punches again because I know most of you guys if you've been a demonstrator for a while or a customer for a while, you have Stampin' Up! Circle Punches. So I'm just going to start using mine because I have all of them. So you need the Circle Punch for the thank you. And that is it. So take a screenshot of that. Oh, you need a piece of scrap paper for the shell too. I forgot that. Just to stamp the shell. Alright, so that's all you need. And let's get started. And you're gonna be amazed at how easy, how easy this is. All right, so like I said, all I, had, all I did was just run this through the embossing machine um, with the shells embossing folder. Let me get a piece of scrap paper. So here is the cool thing. So you just do it just like I did the other day. We're gonna do ink to paper right from the pad. So this is, I have an old one. This is the really, really old one. The white craft pad. The newer ones are much nicer, but I still have, I've had this one for like 20 years. All right, and um, mine's not super juicy, so, but you wanna have a really, really light touch. You do not wanna like smoosh it on here. So very gently, you're just gonna pull it towards you and you just wanna get the top of um, where it's raised up and just kinda, hit it across the top of that. And if you get it too hard, you can't, it stays wet for a minute, you can kinda wipe it off a little bit. So there you go. And that's it. So some spots might get a little bit darker than others, but you just really wanna do it, have a gentle touch. See right there, if it's too dark in a certain spot, just kinda rub it a little bit. And you can kinda get it off a little bit all right so there you go so that is super easy and it just makes it pop isn't that cool 
Love it. Love it. Love it. And then we're going to do Wink of Stella and some um, shimmer spray on it to make it even pop more. And we're going to stamp the shell on here with Misty Moonlight. One of my favorite colors. This is my old Misty Moonlight pad. I love this shell. That's one of my favorite stamps. And also on the inside of the card, we're gonna do that same shell. So just open your card up and stamp it twice. I just think that is a gorgeous shell. I love it. Why would they retire this stamp set? I don't understand. It's so beautiful. And then we gotta cut that out. So we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting. And you know what I need to is to um, stamp the words on my circle that I lost. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're gonna do these words real quick on the, I forgot to put my card up here. All right, so the words are gonna go right at the top of my circle. Right there. And then we're gonna take our blending brush and just sponge just a little bit, very lightly, just to give it a little bit of color. Because you don't want it like totally white. And that's good. Okay. All right, so now we just have to fussy cut our um, shell. And I put my glasses on. Okay. Um, let me see. What beautiful cards. Thanks, Kathy. They're retiring the shell because they kept the taco. <laughs> I know. At least they got rid of the squirrels. I'm like, ugh. What? Who picks those things? I don't know. Like tacos or shells? I don't understand. <laughs> they really need me as one of their people on their panel of experts, I think. I was talking to some of my friends recently, some of my demonstrator friends, and it's like all of us are in the same boat. We all lost almost all of our stamps this year because we all like the same exact ones. So I don't know who these people are that like the, the tacos and the squirrels and the, um, the other ones that stayed in there, but I don't know. It just baffles me. Okay, so we're gonna glue this one down with some green glue. Oops. Oh, last night we watched a movie. We watched um, Two Tickets to Paradise. Have any of you guys seen that movie with Julia Roberts and um, George Clooney? It was really a cute movie. It was so cute. It wasn't as funny. Like, the previews it looked really hysterical, but it really wasn't, like, funny, funny. It was more like... Um, it's a little more serious than I thought it was, but it was cute. It was very cute. I don't want to rub it too much because I'll get it on my fingers. It takes just a few minutes to dry. All right, so then we're going to put this on with dimensionals. And but that was good. I was trying to watch that movie, um, 80 for Brady, but that one wasn't... Um, free yet. So the other one was on, was it on Amazon? Yeah, it was on Amazon Prime. But the other one wasn't on there yet. But it was very cute. Then we watched another movie. It wasn't that good. It was, um, it was one with Jennifer Aniston and Adam Sandler. It was like murder mystery something, but it wasn't very good. It was kind of stupid. All right, we're gonna put that there and then we're gonna put this kind of like diagonal here. 
So it's gonna go down flat and just a little bit's gonna hang off. So I just wanna put like a piece of dimensional on the hangover part. So just, I'll do that. Let me glue it down first and then I'll put it on. So just like in the middle, I'm gonna put glue. Put it on here. Just make sure you don't go over the edge over here of your card. And then the pieces that are hanging off, just take a little bit of a dimensional and put it underneath. If you can get it there, I'm just gonna put that right under there. Oops, it's not coming off my finger. guys have carpenter bees in your um, yard I have these carpenter bees that are driving me insane and I bought these carpenter bee traps and they're not working and they were expensive they're like $30 on Amazon and so I hang them up and so far they have not caught a single one but they were expensive and I don't know why they're not catching any because they're out there flying all around, just like buzzing around my head. And uh, I don't know why these traps are not working. All right, and then I've got a bow. I already did a bow. So this is just my favorite bow that I'm so depressed is going away because my um, white seam binding ribbon is leaving. And I'm not going to be able to make these bows anymore. So we're going to put that on with a glue dot and just stick it right in there and just trim it up a little bit. I just think this is like the most gorgeous bow. I can't believe they're getting rid of this ribbon. It's my favorite. All right, and then we're gonna put a couple rhinestones and I got a new take your pick tool for in here because I couldn't find mine. So we're gonna put some of these on here. And I'll put a bigger one on the circle. All right, so now we're gonna do some wink, 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 wink. Let's see, let me get a big piece of scrap paper. Give it a lot of wink. And we've got, oh, nope, that's shimmer, sorry. Now we're gonna do wink. All right, so we're gonna hit it against my wink. My, um, take your pick tool, I mean. All right, so we're gonna get some splatter. Oh, it's just sparkling everywhere. Love it. Hopefully you can see that. It's shimmery and sparkly all over. Oh, Spice Girl just woke up. I knew she was taking a nap. Put Pine Saw in an open container and hang it up. Oh. Well, the trap is wood, so it's a wood trap with holes in it. Um, Pine Saw in an open container and carpenter bees hate the smell and will leave. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm going to get some Pine Saw then. Oh, oh, Denise says, William, please, Lord, give William and his sister your special touch. Oh, William and his sister. I must have missed that. Okay, William and his sister need everybody's prayers. So everybody say a prayer for them. And how is Spice Girl doing today? Can you guys see that shimmer? I'm trying to hold it up close, but. Oh, okay, I can see it. I can see it. All right, I love it, love it, love it. All right, so that's card one. So there you go. Now we're gonna move on to card two, which is this one. So basically the same exact stuff. I know I'm gonna have to try that pine saw. 
Uh, let me go back and see what I missed. Carpenter bees last year left on made our own traps. So your traps worked. I don't know why mine are not. I've had them up for a couple days now. And um, so far they're not working, so I don't know what's wrong. Um, okay, so now we've got same exact thing, eight and a half by five and a half white. And then we've got five and a quarter by four pretty peacock. And this one is embossed with the fern. And then we've got two of those circles. Um, one is pool party and one is white. And that's all you need. So that's that one. If you want to screenshot that. Um, Debbie says that is pretty and could see the sparkle. There you go. I don't like being so tired. I miss you. Oh, oh no, you got chemo in the morning. Ugh. Thanks, Loretta. Thanks, Starla. Okay. Does it need to be 3D? No, it does not because I used a couple that were regular embossing folders, not 3D, and they worked great. So it does not have to be, any embossing folder will work. Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna start with the embossing folder. We're gonna take the white craft pad again and just run it right across. Oh, mine's getting kind of dirty for some reason. Oh, look, I got a little shimmer on this already. All right, so we're just gonna run it right across. And this one, I didn't want the whole thing really covered, so I kind of just did it a little bit lighter. So I'm not trying to cover the whole thing. I'm just trying to get like some of the tips more instead of all of it. So that's why I'm kind of doing it more wispy. You can cover the whole thing if you want to and then it'll look more like that one I showed you with the blue. But this one, I want just kind of the edges. So it almost looks like snow on the edges. I think that's so beautiful. Love it. Love it. You could put more. As much as you want. And the more juicy your pad is, the more it'll show up. So I like it better with a drier pad. Because then you don't like overdo it. You can always add more, but it's harder to take it off. So, um... I like just to be on the safe side and, and not have to worry about it. Okay, so then we're gonna go to our white. And see, I got a little bit on my fingers. All right, so this is Pretty Peacock. One of my favorite colors. And we're gonna stamp our words on here. Right on the top. And there you go. And then we're going to do our fern. And, I, and this is a brand new pad, so it's very, very, very juicy. So I'm going to stamp off. And then I'm going to stamp here, here, and there. So you get like a lighter version of that. But on the inside, I'm going to do it full strength. So we have, see how dark that is? Woo, that's dark. It's brand new, brand spanking new, and it's super juicy. And then I wanna just sponge just a teensiest bit on here, so. I wanna get like almost all of that off of there and just put just a little teeny bit. Oops, yeah, I got almost all of it off. So I want just the tiniest bit on here. So tap it off like eight times, 10 times till you get most of it off. Oh, and then look, watch. You know how I like to dip my edges in here? So watch with the circle, just go roll it and roll it. <laughs> you gotta go fast if your pad's juicy. You don't wanna stick it on there too long. And then it'll just get, you'll just get the edges. Isn't that cool? All right, so make sure I got all the edges. All right, so there you go. So you got all your edges um, inked up. I love doing that. All right, and then I wanted to just kind of put an accent color. So the pool party really goes pretty with the um, 
peacock. So I like those two colors together. We used to have um, the Pretty Peacock and Seaside Spray that went pretty well. Or no, was it Misty Moon? No, it was Misty Moonlight and Seaside Spray, I think. No, I can't remember. No, I think it was Seaside Spray and Pretty Peacock. So these two are gonna go together. So I'm just gonna put some glue like right here. And then, oops. Stick that on there. So it's kind of just to the side a little bit. Maybe down just a touch. Oh, my glue is showing. Okay. Oops. Got a knuckle in there. All right, and then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of that. Oh, let's glue this down too. So this is gonna go on the white piece. I got a funny joke for you guys today. Have I ever told you guys the joke about the parrot? I couldn't remember, because sometimes I forget to delete them after I tell them, and then I go back and I'm like, oh, did I already tell that one or not? Did you guys hear the one about the parrot? I, I just, if I told it, it would have been like in the last week, but I couldn't, I don't remember if I did or not, but it was really funny. Sentiment is from nature's print, yes. Roll on as Frenchie says. Roll on as Frenchie says. Um, oh, Debbie Spicer says she's gotten so many beautiful cards. Did you get my card? I sent you a card the other day. Let me see. Love that tip. Thank you. Oh, yeah, don't forget to give me thumbs up. Um... them go to the machine across the heart huh. yes the parrot oh I did tell the parrot one. Oh man that was a good one okay no I won't tell it I won't tell it again that was funny that was a good one though <laughs> I did tell it I have a couple more though so I'll tell one of the other ones that was, I was telling it at work because I, I could, I was telling it at work. I couldn't remember if I told you guys or if I was just telling it at work, but it was funny. All right. So dimensionals on the back and that's going to go right over here. And then we've got this brand new ribbon. It is called pool party, uh, grow grain ribbon. And it's so pretty. And I got a bunch of these. I think this was in the, um, well, it's not brand new. It was in the spring mini. I thought it was in the new catalog, but it is in the new catalog, but it was in the spring mini too. But I just ordered a bunch more. All right, so we're gonna make a little teeny bow and then stick this on. I kind of made it too long. Oops. I love making bows. I sat at work the other night. I had, I made the card kits yesterday. That's what I sat and did while we were watching the movie. I finished up all the card kits um, for the last two weeks. So um, some went in the mail today and then some are gonna go tomorrow. I'm trying not to overwhelm my post, my uh, mailman guy. So I put, you know, about eight to 10 in the mailbox each day. And um, so they're, they're slowly going out in the next couple of days. And so I was sitting there tying the bows for some of the kits and, and cutting and all that stuff. And um, I just love sitting there tying bows. All right, so that goes like that. Then we're gonna put some more of these rhinestones on. I'm so glad they didn't retire these because I use these all the time. We're just gonna put three of these. And then we're also going to sparkle this up. So here we go. Spritz, 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 and wink of Stella. We're doing double sparkles tonight. 
Oh, love it. Okay, so hopefully you can see this one. It's got lots of sparkles. Love this card. Never heard of the crossover. Is that a movie? So thick for this machine. Um, if you're doing the, the 3D embossing folders, all you need is your thick, um, your main plate, like the thick one, and you need that gray plate. You don't need any of the other plates. Nothing else. Just the, um, the main plate, which I think is just one, and the gray one, which is your um, specialty plate. And that's the only thing you need. Um, and then if it's not a 3D embossing folder, then you need your main plate and you need the two um, regular plates. And that's it. Um, let's see. Is my mom with me? She's in the other room. Oh my gosh. All she does is watch TV all day long and she likes, she doesn't have cable, so she has eye on TV. So it's reruns of Chicago PD, Chicago Fire, Blue, um, what is it? Blue Bloods, um, CSI, Criminal Minds, all day long. And that's what she's watching. And I can't stand it because I listen to Christian music all day long. I don't watch TV too much, except at night if I, like, have nothing to do. Um, that's when I watch, like, when I'm cutting paper, I'll turn the TV on. But I don't really watch, like, that kind of shows too much, except I do watch 911. But um, I really don't like Criminal Minds and, and that those kind of shows. And she's just, like, wants it on all day. So it's been driving me crazy. And I was trying to make these cards, and I was just, I couldn't even concentrate because she likes it really loud. And it's, like, just, oh. <laughs> So that's what she's doing. <laughs> so, um, she's in the other room right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's what she's doing. <laughs> but we didn't do a video. She's, she's not looking too good right now. She's very pale and, uh, she can't walk very good and because of her leg. And so we didn't do a video. But, okay, so, can you see the sparkle on that one? I think I held it up. It looks like I'm going in slow motion, kinda. Let me see if the light can hit it right. Let me see. I'm trying to get it. Oh. oh, Robin, you made the seashell one that I did Saturday and it came out great. But when you sprayed the shimmer, it bled. Huh. That's weird. That's so weird. There's so much shimmer on this, and it's not showing up very good in the camera. But it's so pretty. Okay, so those are our cards for tonight. I hope you love them. Let me do them like that. So we have them all mixed up. Okay, so you ready for a joke? Be happy you were able to be with your mom. Oh, yeah. Pretty colors. Thank you, guys. Oh, Spice Girl, you haven't gotten it yet? Oh. Okay, here's the joke for tonight. Hold on, let me pull it up. All right, so we did the parrot one. Okay, here's another good one. A blonde goes into a coffee shop and notices there's a peel and win sticker on her coffee cup. So she peels it off and starts screaming, I want a motorhome, I want a motorhome. The waitress says, that's impossible. The biggest prize is a free lunch. But the blonde keeps on screaming, I want a motorhome, I want a motorhome. Finally, the manager comes over and says, ma'am, I'm sorry, but you're mistaken. You couldn't have possibly won a motorhome because we don't even have that as a prize. The blonde says, no, it's not a mistake. I won a motorhome. And she hands the ticket to the manager and he reads, win a bagel. <laughs> okay, that one's funny. All right, so let me see. Here's another one. All right, this is a funny one too. This fellow buys a talking centipede for $500 and takes it home in a small box. After 30 minutes, he opens the box and asks, 
Would you like to go for a beer? The centipede doesn't answer. Raising his voice, the man repeats the question. Still gets no reply. Getting angry, thinking he's been scammed, he shouts the question loudly, at which the centipede starts, sticks his head out of the box and says, I heard you the first time. I'm still putting my freaking shoes on. <laughs> All right, so you got a two-for-one joke tonight. All right, guys, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed these cards. And um, I won't see you on Thursday night, so you're going to have a break from me until Saturday. So if you miss me, you can always go back and watch one of my other 400 videos that I have on YouTube. Yes, that is right, 400 other videos. So all you have to do is just go to my YouTube channel that you're on right now and just click on either videos, those are the older ones, or live, those are the newer ones, and it will have a whole list of all the videos that you can watch. And um, there's lots of videos on there. Or just search Lisa Freeman, Stampin' Up, and you'll have all sorts of videos to pick from. So. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share all those good things for me. And oh, don't forget free shipping tomorrow starts at midnight tonight, um, uh, mountain time. And it's for $75 or more orders. Don't forget to use the host code on those orders and, um, you'll get your free stuff and your kits from the last two weeks will be coming in the mail soon. They're going out today, tomorrow, and the next day. So I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.